What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about three stocks today, IPI, NVTS, and MP for Buki and NK. We're talking about these for you guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, guys. As always, I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you very much. Let's get started without any further ado. And yeah, carry on having a good time. You can hear me all right? All right, yes, you can. All right, good. Okay, weekly, IPI, Intrepid Potash. That's right. That's what I have written here for Buki. Um, I would think you look like you're moving up. Yeah. You look like you're moving up to me. High to low. Off you go. I think so. Yeah. I really do. I think you're moving up to 36, 36. As funny as that is, you're at 23, 25 right now. 36, 36, and probably up a little bit around, like above that. I wouldn't be surprised if you tipped it. You could tip it on this occasion. Normally, I do call for you to go a little bit above the 382, but you'd be getting above this 123 moving average, this green line here, right? Getting above that with this next move projected up. So tipping the 382 might be what you do. If not, don't be surprised if you go higher to like $40, $42, $43, you know. That doesn't mean it's going off to the moon. Um, it could, but but likely you're, you're going to find resistance in this area. And I would at least expect that you hit 36, 36. Okay, so yeah. Moving up in the relative short term here. I like it. I do. MVTS is the next one. You said some things have changed technically with these. Let's see if that's true. Well, yes, absolutely they have. You've got new all-time lows. Absolutely things have changed technically. Well said. Um, <clears throat> this could be some kind of fake out, right? It could be a double bottom of sorts off the all-time low. A fake out as in you just went below it and then as soon as you got below it you went back up of course hmm let's look at how you're relatively how you're doing relatively speaking from a low to a high you hit the minimum expected targets yes the one two seven two and the one four one four nice your goal right now is to get back above three dollars sixty four cents then after that four dollars and four cents as of right now, yes, I think. I mean, you're at 321. I do think you're going to move back up to 364, but let's see what you do with that, okay? Request this one again, NK, when you're above 364. When you close above it on any given day, request this one again. Um, let's let's check in with it. I'm very confident. I have no doubt in my mind that you're going to do this, right? It's just what are you going to do afterwards is the question, right? And, and once we get up here... I'd like to talk about it again after really not once we get up there because I'll just be saying the same thing that I'm saying now. I'd like to, I'd like to see what happens after this, right? Like if you if you go up here but then you end up closing days right below 364, interacting with that area, finding resistance, and then you start closing days below 348. Well, we can talk about moving down to 274. If you interact with this area, you kind of consolidate whatever, and then you move up and you're above the 886, or maybe on your first attempt you just move above it. Um, then we can look at the 61869 area kind of as the same dilemma here. Really, when you get above 404, that's when I'm confident that this is your low and that you're moving higher. But until then, I'm not completely convinced. But there'd be a little bit of hope once you get above 364. So that's really the next area to worth talking about it, I think. You're at 321 right now. So um, yes, yes, definitely scary stuff seeing new all-time lows. But considering it was in this kind of conditions with the overall market, your weekly RSI still... It's in a kind of weak position, but it looks productive overall, I must say. And there are definitely targets on the table right now that could take you up to 671 or higher if you're just patient enough. But there's also targets that could take you to new lows. It, it just depends on what you do with that 886 area. So that's, that's NVTS to the best of my abilities. MP, MP also moving on down, yes. I wouldn't say this is too new, right? I mean lowest lows that you've seen in a very long time, right? Basically the majority of this thing's existence, but you're not really breaking structure, are you? Maybe that's not the best line to draw. Something like this, right? <clears throat> Something like that. I mean, at the low point, you're probably gonna go to the high point, right? Which would, I guess, would be like there, yeah. Kind of. Right, maybe we can draw a channel. Something like that. Maybe it's higher. 
looks pretty respected. We're at the low points of the channel, moving up to the high points. I don't know. Easiest guess would be something around $13 to $14. You're at $11 now. Let's see what you do with that area, though, $13 to $14. As of right now, there's nothing in the charts that, convince, that convinces me that you're done with this downtrend, right? Not until you break out of it, right? But until then, you're just looking for another lower high. That was the opposite of a straight line two times over. But you're just looking for another lower high in a series of lower highs. If I could draw this line properly, but I'm not. But you, you see what I'm trying to say, right? Of which case, you're at a lower low right now, moving up to form a lower high, and then condemned forever, probably, right? That's that's my take, but I could be wrong. Absolutely, I could. I don't like the weekly RSI as much in this one. I don't like the daily, but I do think you're moving up from here. So 13 to 14 bucks, somewhere in that area. And that's all I got to say. So hit the like button, you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for being here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.